Hi Scorpio, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. I'm here to do your October 2019 reading. Um, I am wearing my Frida Kato shirt that I got in Mexico. And to um, also, it's part of my honoring the Day of the Dead. She's passed on, Mexican artist that I love. And um, I just like this t-shirt. It's like a big eyes t-shirt. And it's so funny because I can make her look, you know, very proud. Or I can make her look very angry. Oh, you're making me so angry. <laughs> anyway, I just got my sense of humor. Uh, so, Scorpio, what's going on? Let's get serious now. Let's get serious. <laughs> All right, I want to put my vibes in there for you, Scorpio. I hope everyone's doing great. <sighs> Scorpio. October 2019, Scorpio. There you are, Scorpio. October 2019. <sighs> All right all my goodness in there for you all the good vibrations I'm bringing up good vibrations good pop pop might want to listen to that song good vibrations pop pop Scorpio what are my messages for my Scorpio here what are the messages for my Scorpio? Oh, I moved, as you can see. This is only temporary, though, this spot. I'm on a farm, so if you can hear chickens in the background, they're just like, a, they all hang out just outside my door here. Your cards are ready. Sometimes when I get gabbing, they say, no, 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 you're not going to get gabbing, Lynn. <laughs> all right, here we go. I'm going to do a Celtic cross for you this month. So let's see what we got. Oh, nice. I love it. I love it already. Ooh. Oh, my God. We're talking about the big picture. We're talking about the big picture here, Scorpio. Wow. Okay, I know I'm saying a lot of ooh. Ah, oh, wow. <laughs> I'll show you in a sec. Just let me get the cards out here. Let me get them out. Oh my god, you have so many major arcana. <gasps> wow. Wow. This is pretty powerful, this is, okay? So, my darlings. I'm going to bring the camera down so I can kind of show you what you got. And then bring it back up to talk to you. Alright? So, let's show you. Do yeah, you can see all my stuff on the table. All right, so here's your cross in the middle. And this is kind of um, your core of what's going on to me, not to every reader, to me, okay? So first of all, you have the Wheel of Fortune right in the dead center. This is where you are now, ready to expand in a new way. you got a new map, a new plan. Your map isn't completed. You can see that she hasn't completed the circle yet. She's not, but there's change and there's positive change coming for you. Um, uh, they say that, uh, some people say that this is the, you know, the cosmic wheel turning for you. Fate. This is fate changing in your favor and you're, go you're gonna expand in a new way. Your challenge is the Hierophant, you know, and the Hierophant is like the guide, the teacher, the um, higher learning, um, the, you know, there's, it's some sort of acceptance as well. Um, there's something about, Um, I can see that you're really evolving here, but there's something limiting you that last, um,
You know, you got so much determination here in this Wheel of Fortune. She's really determined. She's really focused. And she knows what she wants. She's not exactly sure of the whole plan yet. Um, but she's ready for change. And she's actually taking the action to, 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 to make it happen. Making the plan. Um, and also accepting. This is about, I get the real strong word acceptance here, um, accepting it. So, but there's something here that you're resisting. Um, there's some sort of guidance or resisting guidance. Um, Anyway, I'm going to get back to the whole story. I just want to tell you first what you got here. So above you, you have the world. And as you know, that's completion. You know, uh, an ending a life chapter, a life cycle. Stepping through the threshold. And happily, you know, you're happily doing it. It's an ending that is, a, is, is welcome. A welcome completion. Okay? Then, um, and this is in your immediate present coming right up. What's it? 21. So it might be maybe on the 21st of October. Um, now, um, the two of wands is the foundation. And, you know, that's a choice. Which way do I go? Not f really feeling like you have uh, your... Like, it's, it, this guy's empty. He's ready to be filled back up again, right? He's ready for new. Um, but, but not sh exactly sure which way will take him to that. Or And the thing is, is that, you know, I, I like to say to people, don't think too hard on your decisions because, you know, w we can always change our minds and try that other way. But here, it's a decision which way to go. He's holding a wand in this hand and holding a wand in that hand, okay? Um, also, too, the two of wands speaks about partnership, willing to partner up, willing to um, trust another with your, with your plan, you know, working on your plan. In the past, you have the chariot deciding to take over, take the wheel, uh, take charge of the direction you're going and the sun is just shining so brilliantly these this could be travel you could have done some traveling that really could have helped you get in control or get things in control something happened re recently to change your direction you're going in and but is successful if you can get control and and you got two sides of you here wanting to pull you in different directions and the thing is is that getting them to work together your opposites all right getting them to work together on the common um path goal whatever that is and then the six of cups and this is the card of nostalgia um this is your immediate future and um this could be about someone comes back from the past some uh there's something in the past that you're missing or someone um you're remembering the good times um could be something in the family someone close to home sort of thing i'm feeling it's like it's close to home um also the sixes cups is about reward as well it's about reward and appreciation of um, what you've been able to do in your relationships, build your relationships. Over here is what you're going to do kind of with this, um, th this stuff that's going on in your core. And here you have the lady. This is where you find yourself at the present time. You're ready for something new. You want to give um, life to something new um, because you could see that this seed hasn't been birthed 
yet. It's still growing, you know, the seed's still growing. And uh, I think you're you're trying to get grounded, you're trying to get all your everything into place before you take the action. You're you're nourishing yourself and getting ready. You know, you know when uh, they talk about a mother and she's, um, what do they call it, nesting? And she's getting ready. She's getting everything organized. She's getting all the stuff out, getting prepared. This doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be a mother. You could be becoming a grandmother or grandparent. But just means bringing something to life. Um, nurturing something that you want to grow and I think it's something new because like I said it's still in seed form in her belly okay and then there is temperance ferulet and and that's getting things into balance you've got two cards of this now chariot and ferulet you know trying to get the water and the fire to work together to create the right recipe the right balance to make your dreams come true and you're in the process of doing this you know um you're in the process you got it cooking this card this position is how others are seeing you or influencing you and and i think they're helping you find this right balance directly or indirectly all right this is your hopes or fears, I say expectation position. And it is the nine of wands. It doesn't necessarily mean this is happening or going to happen, but um, you could be expecting to having to defend yourself, to fight. Um, you could, there could be, um, you know, he, he, you may not be injured, but feel worn, worn out, tired of defending yourself tired of having to draw your line again you're worn out from this sort of effort in this situation so um you you you're, you're I, th I i don't think you're necessarily expecting it but you're you're tired of doing that you know you're um but I think you're expecting to having to do a little more in some sort of situation. And then your final card is the Prince of Pentacles. And this is moving forward slowly, though, carefully. Um, you've learned a lot of lessons from the past, from your past struggles, right? And so this is why you're just being careful, taking it slow, not really sure where this is taking you. You know, you have your your shield up. Um, and But see that, that pentacle on there? That's potential. That's investing yourself. You're going to take action. You are moving toward it, but it's slowly, carefully. Um, you could feel a bit vulnerable in this situation and you're done with fighting. Like I said, you're done with fighting. You, you don't want to fight. You want to talk. Let's talk. Let this work. Let's work this out and proceed forward. You know, <laughs> there's, you know, there's a lot of big changes coming from you because there's so much major arcana. You have the wheel to start with. So this is fate coming in to change and you making your map you're thinking i i'm gonna do this you may not be um communicating this yet what your plans are what what your because you're not sure of the whole picture yet yourself but you know you want change and that's one thing you know for sure scorpio um i also think you could be moving because you got the wheel the chariot Two of Wands, you know, the decision, the world going through complete new threshold, starting a whole new chapter of life, and gladly. And, um, yeah, I, I get the feeling you're moving, okay? Um, or there's, like, I feel like you uh, need to be connected to water more is what I'm feeling. You're feeling you need to be connected to water. That's that's what I'm hearing, okay? 
And this high priest, you know, the high priest is the guide, the teacher, the, it, it's higher learning. When we kind of step up to the next stage of development, the next stage of responsibility, see how one hill is this high and the next hill, you're leveling up. But there's, a, there's some sort of resistance to it. For some reason, I get I get the feeling you don't want responsibility. There's a certain responsibility you don't want. You don't want to teach. You don't want to guide. Um, you you want to expand. There's something different in those two things for you. Um, There's a lot, you know, you have a lot of cards of balance here. Like I said, the ferulet and the the chariot. You know, this is movement, taking action, traveling. Um, but this has already happened, this trip. This where you um, got your opposing sides to work together, you know, work in unison with each other. Um, you know what made me think of it right now? You know in comedy acts, when there's comedy teams, and one person plays kind of the fool, the joker, and the other plays, person plays the straight man? Well, n neither one of them is the great one. They work great together, although they are very different. You know, one's very shy, the straight man, but when he says something, it's good. You know, and this guy says so much and keeps us entertained and and occupied. And so they both have a role and they they're very opposite, but they work together and to make this fantastic result. So that's what this makes me think of both of these cards water and fire oh so different but when they work together the the strength the strength of the steel you know the forging it's forging and um <laughs> it's what our world is it's what um protects us and all kinds of things i don't want to go into that but you get the idea and then the second place the other place is, you know, this. Um, it feels, it's a decision. It also feels impulled in two directions, you know, um, that again, you can't really see what the final outcome, what the final plan is. And there's a few cards in that and saying this too. You know, you can't really see what the final plan is. But, and and see, this is feeling vulnerable too. Feeling empty. Feel like you don't have everything you need to set out yet. I don't know if I'm ready. Jeez, I don't, I, I, I don't have, I don't know what I'm going to need. And it's okay. You will be all right. Just take it one step at a time. You know, pace yourself. Um, try to, like, and, and, and this is, you know, talking, speaking your mind. It's okay to be vulnerable. That's all right. It's all right. That's what new is about. You know, we're all vulnerable when we're beginning something new, starting something new, because we, we've never done it before. You know, we're the fool. We're like, I don't know, but I'm going to give it a shot, you know, and you're going to give it a shot, but just very um, carefully. You're just being more careful this time. I really get the feeling of that. Okay. So that's really it in a nutshell. Oh, the other the other one I didn't go through. Um, wait, I want to say something about the world too. So this is walking through a threshold, like I said. Ending one chapter of life. Um... And it could be in a relationship with some something can come to a complete completion, you know, and you're ready to start a whole new chapter. All right. And like I said, this is happily 
gladly. You know, this is feeling good about all this. And see the glow of light around her him. It's kind of both sex sort of person. Um, it's because th th it's the right time. You know, it's the right time. It, it's, it's a lit path for you kind of thing. And then the Six of Cups. Oh. Um. I, I get the feeling there's something about your kids or your family. Uh, you know, Thanksgiving's coming up, so there could be something about family gathering or something like that, some sort of nostalgia, missing something from the past, looking back. Perhaps, you know, sometimes when we move forward, we take a look back and think, geez, you know, look, look where I am now compared to what, where I was. And sometimes that's not a bad comparison. It's just different, right? And um, also, um, I have a feeling it's looking back on your youth. You know, there's something about family or looking back on your youth. And um, I get a sense of pride, too. Some sort of sense of pride. You're proud of where you've been able to bring yourself where to where you are sometimes we need to do that um and a great way to do that is making a um a lifeline a you know this is birth and you draw a line across the paper and then you put the age you are now and you make ticks five year intervals and just kind of Jot down major life events, good, bad, accomplishments, trips, you know, what you've been able to do and, and overcome, too, hardships, you know, maybe losing a parent at a young age and still being able to, to get somewhere in life and learn from it. And so it's a really good way to, to I don't like to say measure and effect is judgment, but um, measure what you really have been able to accomplish because sometimes we don't give ourselves that credit, that pat on the back. Oh, geez, wow, I've, I really have done a lot and I'm proud of myself. Um, so anyway, there's, there's really, there's a seed that you are birthing here. Um... The other thing too, a message that may be for some of you is there is a baby coming, you're pregnant, um, or you're going to become a grandparent, okay, is it's connected to you, it's part of you and it's, and it's, um, it's kind of, uh, I also see it as nurturing, being more nurturing, you know. Um, Cause I think there's uh, some sort of resist, there's some sort of resistance here to, you know, when you get by this leveling up, this, um, Because the guide is calling you, but you're resisting. Whether this is another person or you yourself, you know, what, because no matter what age we're at, we are responsible to teach what we know to the generation that comes after us. So if I'm a 10-year-old, I'm responsible 
to help the three-year-olds along and the four-year-olds. And if I'm 15, I'm, I'm responsible to help the nine and 10-year-olds along and tell them, hey, you're not supposed to be doing that. And if I'm 20, I'm supposed to be helping those 15-year-olds and so on and so on and so forth. It never ends. That's our responsibility. And it changes as we grow. It changes as we grow. Um, we are don't we're not just always responsible from that one group our 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 our, <laughs> our reach gets bigger as we grow and it's one of our responsibilities so and uh, you know that message is for somebody out there you know uh, not everything I say is for every everyone but there's a message in here for everyone Maybe not the whole reading for you, but somewhere in here, there's a message for you. Anyway, um, if you like this reading, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd like to add that um, about donations, um, you know, sometimes they just help me in general, just get by in life. But also, um, Sometimes I have someone write me who is in a very, very terrible place in life and needs someone to talk to, needs guidance, needs my time, and um, doesn't have any money, has nothing to give me to offer. And um, so I pay it forward. I pay your donations forward. And I help that person. I say, yeah, I can help you. And, you know, I can't do it every single day, that sort of thing. But um, there is some people that I can really feel them. I can really feel them. And I don't know if I have the right stuff to help, but I'm sure going to try. So I just wanted you to know that that's where that goes sometimes. Okay, some of that money goes. Um, anyway. So, I told some of you last month that, and I mean by some of you, I mentioned it some of the videos and some of I didn't, um, that I went to Mexico last month for a tummy tuck. Well, I did not have it. I am still chubby. <laughs> but, um, it, the reason it didn't happen, one of the big reasons is because of the financial part of it. The company that I'd went through um, <laughs> just screwed the whole thing up. You know, I'd have the financing and then it would fall through. And then I'd have it and fall through. I have it and fall through. And it got to the point where I was in Mexico still waiting for this and they kept promising. And, you know, I just thought... Ugh, Maybe I'm not supposed to have this surgery. I don't know. I, I just don't understand why this isn't working out. And so it got to the point where I was entering the second week of being there and it still hadn't happened. And I thought, you know what? I'm just not gonna do it. It's, it's I, 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 I'm gonna have to make peace with my body and accept the way I am. And I went, decided to have a beach day and just relax and not worry about it anymore. And I went and sat on the very edge of the beach where the water is washing up and it's, and it's, and it's hitting my feet and cooling my feet off. And I'm just sort of sitting out, sitting there and just kind of staring out at the water and the horizon and all these weeds are washing in here and there. And there's one washing in in front of me and I'm thinking that doesn't look like a weed but I'm letting it wash in it gets closer and closer and closer and so with when it's within reach I kind of stood up and reached forward and grabbed it in front of me and it was this the scapular it this one has um, Jesus the Virgin Mary represented by Our Lady of Guadalupe in Mexico and the angel Raphael and I'm not I don't know anything about angels and I wasn't raised religiously so I know historically and culturally the story of and I've tried to learn a lot of different religions and take good from them but the thing is I didn't know very much about it so I went and asked some people in Mexico and they told me that Raphael watches over our health and well-being 
And I was just like, oh, you're kidding. And I couldn't believe that this, with the angel Raphael, washed up to me at that time when I decided to make peace with my body. And um, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cry, but it was a really strong message. I felt like someone out there was trying to tell me, whether it was my mom or my ancestors or my guides or whatever, whoever it was, they're trying to speak to me. So um, I, uh, I didn't have it done. And um, a friend of mine said something to me that uh, really, really uh, touched me. And he said, looks have nothing to do with being an amazing person, Lynn. And it just like turned on a light for me. And um, so, you know, there you go. Us readers, we don't know everything either. We have our own struggles. And sometimes other people have the answer for us, you know. And someone did, and that meant the world to me. And I repeat it to others now. It's, it's something that I want to share and pass on. So I just wanted to let you guys know what sort of happened with that. And um, that I got this very wonderful blessing so, um, anyway, uh, love you all and talk to you soon. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Um, if you've had anything like this happen to you, um, if the reading resonates or any of your other thoughts. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate you. Bye now.